evening. Wind blew sand in my eyes. I just resting them for a spell. Everything going all right? Uh, stock has finally gentled down for the night. Listen, why don't you uh, why don't you go get a cup of coffee? I'll take your watch for a while. It's my time to stand watch. I'll get the job done. Sure enough. See you back in camp. Just the wind could fire the brush and stampede the whole herd. Take us a week to round them up. Uh, we were careful to see it didn't happen. You were careful. You're supposed to be riding watch. Not sitting around guzzling this stuff. Well, the fellow's got to have some take the chill off his bones. The orders were no drinking on this drive. You knew that. It's not the first time you've broken the rules, but it's going to be the last. All right, we owe you two weeks' pay. There it is. Be off this ranch in an hour. Just like that, huh? Pack up and get out. That's right, just like that. You hear the man, Temple? I heard him. Don't like it. No man fires me and then tells me what to do. What do you reckon we ought to do about him, Sam? Teach him some better manners. That's the bottle talk, and it's not making much sense. Not this time. This is my idea. got 10 seconds to ride out. You don't? In 11 seconds, you'll be dead. Same thing for me.
What's the matter, Joe? Can't you get him turned around? I told him enough times. You think he'd do it by himself now? Would you try sweet talking him, little brother, like you do them gals on Saturday night? Why don't you sweet talk them? They look a lot more like the gals you dance with on Saturday night. <laughs> Dan, you want me to take him? You put the iron on him? After 50 years, Hoss, I think I can handle it. Well, that's the last of the strays. You did a real good job, son. Well, that's not finished yet. Well, I'm proud of the way you handled things. We did. Well, oh, thank you. I don't want to mess up my first chance of being trail boy. <laughs> hey, there, there were a couple things I want to talk to you about. Yeah, I'm sure one of you said. Watch that. The way he turns him over. Huh? <laughs> Hell, he taught me to do that when I wasn't much of a looking dude. He's been out a long time. I'll get him for you, Dan. I don't need your help. Get away! <laughs> You get your van? No, I just uh, edged the iron and cut you a bit. Sparks a bit. You fool. Look what you've done. I done? You listen to me, old man. Yeah, this is gonna help anything. Look at that work. Sorry, boy. Never would have happened if that young buck hadn't jumped in. That's all right, Dan. I should have got out of the way. All right, that's all for now. We'll pick it up after lunch. He can't do the job anymore. There's more to it than that, and you know it. You, you saw the way he acted out there. But Dan Tolliver used to be the best like wrangler on this ranch. He just doesn't get along with the men anymore. I've been watching him the last few weeks, Pa. He, he's tired. He, he's slow to react to trouble. The other day, the herd turned in him, and his horse almost went out from under him before he could get clear. He did pretty good when those two had you on the hook. He saved me from a bad beating, Pa, and I'm grateful. Look, I'm, I'm not saying fire him, kick him off the ranch. I, I'm just saying find him a job he can handle. There's lots of things he can do around here. Dan Tolliver isn't a ranch hand. He's a wrangler. Always has been. One of the best. Look, Pa, I gotta, I gotta get this drive through. I have to get it through safe and in prime condition. Now, the only way I'm gonna do that is by getting the best out of everything. I know that. All right, today, Dan got a man hurt because he would not admit that he needed help. Now, tomorrow he may get himself killed or somebody else. I, I just don't want that to happen, not on one of our drives. Dan and I go back a whole lot of years together. Long before you were born. I can tell you, I was rode a whole lot easier knowing he was at my side. Doesn't there come a time when a man has to step down? For his own good, Pa.
sure got this buggy looking slick, Hoss. Wouldn't be to take Sarah Johnson riding, would it? Well, uh, just could be, then. Just could be. Luke had no call to do what he done. I would have got that steer down easy. Yeah, I know that. Well, you take good care of that arm now, so as it don't infect. Oh, will do. Will do now. Get Important on Saturday night, did I? Well, uh, I'm fixing to go into town. Oh, well, uh, just gonna wait. Why? Well, uh, it'll still be there an hour from now. Yeah, sure, come on. Uh, howdy, Joe. How you doing, man? The usual? But, uh, not to the brim. I do, it bites back at me in the morning. <laughs> I know the feeling very well. <laughs> Here's to absent friends and good memories. <laughs> what is it you want to talk to me about, Ben? Yeah, we've been friends for a good many years, haven't we? Then? More years than we care to count, I guess. Back of a long ways together, Ben, that's for sure. Yeah, the years creep up on you. And man begins to feel the difference in his bones. Nothing wrong, is there, Ben? Your health, I mean? No, no. No, 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 Dan. I, fine. I, but I was just thinking the other day. With all the men going out in the drive. So many things have been around here, and I don't know if I can handle them all. I was just wondering if you, well, if I couldn't talk you into staying here with me and giving me a hand with them. You mean you want me to be your ranch hand? Yeah, sure. You know, there's so many things that have to be done. That barn needs patching up real bad. And after that? Well, uh, well, you know, how many things have to be done around a place like this? I get it. After the barn, mend the fence, clean the stables. I'm a wrangler, Ben. I work stock. I always have. Now, what are you trying to say? Come out and say it straight, Ben, the way we always talk. I'm all right for I am. I'm all right here. Well, Dan, you've been working trail on the Ponderosa for the last 15 years. I sure wish you could go on working it. But you can't. I'm too old. Is that what you're saying to me? Well, what I'm trying to say is that you, you got to stop driving yourself on the line of work that's for young fellas. I'm trying to get you to ease off. It's the only street I know, and I got no intention of changing now. I'll get my gear together and be gone in the morning. Yeah. You're the dead burnest stubbornest man I know. I don't know how many times it's gotten you into trouble, and what for? For me, it's the line I've laid out for myself, and that's the way I got to travel. Well, lay yourself on another line. I don't want you to go. I want you to stay here. Let me change your mind. 
Can I get you to change yours? Now, don't go around like this. There's no need for that. Help me find the words to make you stay. Twenty-eight days' pay coming to me. Nothing else. Dan. I just want you to know that it was my decision to keep you off the trail. Your decision. Yeah, that's right. You got no right to judge me, boy. None whatsoever. And you're wrong about me. I can still work you young bucks into the ground any time I'm a mind to. Look, Dan, I only... Just have my wages drawn up in the morning. Just have them drawn up. <laughs> Yourself? You know, you made me look a little foolish out there that night, throwing me in the dirt the way that you did. He snuck up behind us, and he had a rifle then, which he ain't got now. You want a piece of me? Come ahead. But you better keep me down for good. You don't. I'll kill both of you. <laughs> Hold on, Dan. There's no need to get all riled up. I suppose you and Joe Cartwright are real tight buddies now, huh? You suppose wrong. I ain't got any more use for Joe Cartwright than you have. Why don't we all sit down, huh? Me and Temple here will uh, share the cost of that bottle with you. I drink only with my friends. I don't see any here tonight. How come you let an old coot like that badmouth you that way? That he liked you, Sand. That old coot. He's got a big anger inside him. And I think it's against the card rights. Yeah, so what if it is? I don't know. Yet. Flip. Jim Flint? Hello, Dan. Been a heap of years since our trails crossed. Over 16 of them. Uh -huh. Sit down, have a drink with me. Ah, last time we was together, we worked trail herd on the Big Red. With the Morgan outfit. Remember the night a rattler crawled into your bedroll? Tell me about it. First time I ever saw a bedroll climb a tree. <laughs> <laughs> and the time that Apache raiding party jumped us, you took the narrows, I recollect. You recollect? Right. <laughs> <laughs> right after was the first time I ever saw a wrangler ride side saddle. <laughs> Still troubles me some. What are you doing in Virginia City? Ah, just drifting through. You signed down with any of the trail herds yet? No, I give that up some time ago. Why, you was a good wrangler. Good as any man I knew. Now, what would make you take a job like this? I gotta eat when I'm hungry. It's as easy as that. <laughs> Swamper, I pay you to clean up this place, not to sit and bother the customers. 
Thanks for the drink, Dan. Maybe one day we'll get together, kick around old times. Sure, one day, Jim. to be making pies, ain't it? Well, it's a rush order for Mrs. Grant's social tomorrow. I have to take my work however I can find it, no matter what the hour. Things bad for you, Beth? Well, sometimes they get a little rough, but never mind that. You sit down at the table and I'll warm the coffee. You need money, Beth? No. No, I'll manage. Apple pie still your favorite? What? Oh, yeah. Saturday nights, Dan. The socials. Do you recall? We used to have some high old times with those dances, didn't we? Yes, we did. And as I recall, you were seldom around to see them end. Of course I was. No, you weren't. You used to come in all spruced up acting the proper gentleman. Then after a few trips around the back with the boys, you'd come in and dance with all the pretty girls. You'd one of them pretty girls, if I recollect. The fact that I was with another fellow never seemed to trouble you any. Sure did trouble that other fellow, though, didn't it? <laughs> yes, and you'd both go back and settle it. I never saw such a patched-up suit as the one you used to wear. The suit wasn't made to roll on the ground in. We girls used to get so mad at you. Why? I thought you liked to dance with me. We did. You were the best dancer there, but the worst fighter. It was always the other fellow that returned to the dance. I never seemed to learn, did I? You're a fine woman, Beth Riley. Time was mighty lucky to have found you. I only wish it was me who'd been so lucky. You had that chance, Dan. Or don't you remember? It's late. I'd better be leaving. Dan, you didn't have your pie and coffee. Another time. Thank you for everything, Beth. Dan... Then, if you're ever troubled, 
If you think you'd like to talk to someone, my door is always open to you. You're a good woman, Beth. With all your own problems, you're helping me. Should be the other way around. Steers got bogged down last night. Hoss and Pa rode out to see what they could do. I'm just making out a list of supplies for the drive. I came for my wages. Yeah. You got anything lined up? I'll make do like all of us. If there's anything we can do to help... There is. Count out my wages. Okay. Pa still wants you to take that bonus. Just the wages. It's open. What do you want? Words out about what happened to you with the Cartwrights. So? Well, you're in the same boat with Temple and me now, so we thought we'd drop by and try to cheer you up. That's right. Bought our own bottle to do it with. You wasted your money. I drink my own whiskey. Get out of here. You know, you you told me you only drank with your friends. Well, why not give us a chance? Tolliver, do you mind telling me what you've got to show for 50 years' work? Uh, beside a worn saddle and the clothes on your back and... Maybe what's in that saddlebag? It's enough till I sign on with another trail herd. Oh, not a chance. When the other outfits hear that the Cartwrights let you go, and know the reason. You won't be able to get a job herding day-old calves. You'll wind up cleaning stables and swamping saloons. That's not a pretty future, is it? 
Get out of here. Sure, we'll go. But if I can show you a way to get you enough money to set you up for the rest of your life, do you figure that's worth a listen? Temple try to break in, they'll use a gun on us. But all you have to do is knock on the front door, and we'll be right behind you. What makes you think he'd open the door for me? Thirty years of friendship. No. No, you come to the wrong man. I want no part of it. I've done some things in my time I ain't proud of. But I ain't never stole from another man. And I ain't aiming to start now with someone I call friend. <laughs> you mean you call the Cartwright your friends? Why, well, it was them who threw you away. Them who said, you finished, old man. Go crawl in a hole and die by yourself. That's right. They kicked you out. You buy that brand of friendship, Tolliver? We do get in the house. What makes you think Ben will open the safe for us? He's got no choice. He don't open it, we take him out. Shut up, Temple. Ben Cartwright's no fool. He's a wealthy man. He's not going to risk his life for money. He'll give it to us. There'll be no gunplay, I promise. What do you say? It's your last chance, old man. for your gun. Slow and easy. Now, Temple will ride out on ahead. You 
you follow in the wagon right behind him, and I follow you. Let's move. Susan. Damn Tolliver, Ben. Ben, you son of a gun. It's good to see you. Come on in. Well, come on in. Don't stand outside there. We uh, don't usually keep the door bolted, but uh, with the payroll in the safe, you know, people weren't taking them chances. We've been waiting up for little Joe. He went to town this morning to get some supplies. Back some time ago, but I guess he's uh, the horse of the herd. Would you like some coffee? Dan, would you like some coffee? No. But then I hope you're coming back here it means that you've thought things over and you're. Gonna be working with us again. No. If you want Joe back, you open up that safe and give me the money that's inside. What's the matter with you, Dan? We got Joe Ben. Me and my partners. He ain't been hurt none. And he'll be turned loose as soon as I get back there with the money. Some kind of joke. It's no joke, Ben. We got him. I'm fighting for what's left of my life. That's why. Because after 50 years' work, I, I find I'm used up. I got nothing, Ben. Nothing behind me and nothing up ahead except handout jobs. That's not for me, Ben. I don't aim to end up that way. You open that safe. Try to follow me, Ben. Can only cause trouble. I'd have given you this money. And anything else you wanted. All you had to do was ask for it. You mean another handout? Joe's back in the morning. I won't say a word about this. You get out of here and good luck to you. He's hurt. 
And anyway, I'll come after you, Dan. And there won't be a place on Earth far enough or dark enough to hide you. When you reckon he's going to get back? Well, things go the way they should by sunrise. What do you mean, things go the way they should? Why shouldn't they? Well, settle down, Temple. It's going to be a long night. Oh, yeah, I figure it. The old man will be back in the morning with the money. That old man get back with the money. What do you figure you're going to do with your share? Spend it. Me too. I'm going to San Francisco, and I'm going to get me a room in one of them fancy hotels. Then I'm going to go down and buy me some of them dooted up city clothes. And I'm going to kiss me every pretty girl I can find. Why don't you give him the number of your hotel room while you're at it? What difference does it make if he knows where I'm at? Ain't going to do him no good no how. Come in, uh, I want to talk to you. Of course. I'm sorry to bother you this late, but I don't have much time. Well, are you in trouble? Is there anything I can do? No, I'm fine. I I'm leaving town. I Chances are I won't see you again. Well, wh what do you intend to do? Where are you going? thought about that yet. Uh, there's something I wanted to do before I left. I want you to have this. Where did you get all that money? Well, no matter about that. That's why I came here to, to give it to you. Here, take it. Oh, I can't accept that. Why? Well, it doesn't belong to me. Does it belong to you? Yes. It does belong to me. Maybe not the way you think, but 
But there's 50 years of my life tied up in this money. I've earned it. Every dollar of it. And I want you to share it with me. But why? Because you won't have to stay up half the night working for other people. You won't have to depend on anyone for food on your table or a roof over your head. What have you done? What I've done was as much for you as for me. No, not for me. If I took this money, would it ease your conscience? Oh, Dan, don't you see you've done a wrong thing? This could lead to big trouble. I can't take this money. I earn enough to live on. I take pride in my work. The way you used to. Beth. They kicked me out. They called me an old man. They said I couldn't do my work. Well, then I do something that I could do. And no matter what, there'd be no shame. As long as it was honest work, I'd take pride in it. Honest work? Like Jim Flint cleaning spittoons. Dan. My thoughts and my prayers are with you. should have been here by now. What do you think happened to him? I'll ask him when he gets here. Check him. All right, lean forward so I can see your hands. Come on. <laughs> It's him, Sand. He's here. You don't forget what we've got to do. Not a chance. I'd give you the money. Look at it, Sam. Will you look at it? And it's ours. It's all ours. You make sure nobody followed you here? No one followed me. It was easy, wasn't it? For you, it was easy. We owe you a lot, Oliver. Might not have worked out if you hadn't come in with us. What you fixing to do? Cut him loose. Turn him out of here. I don't think so. Wait a minute. That was our understanding. By the time he gets home and tells him about us, we'll be long gone. No way for him to catch us. Well, maybe not this week. But what about next week or next month or next year? No. I'm not going to spend the rest of my life looking over my shoulder. I won't sit still for a killing. I didn't think you would. And I'm sorry.
It would have changed things if you had. I'll take one of you with me. No, you won't. you hurt. Where did it take you? Got me in the side. I'll be all right. What are you... What are you waiting for? You got all the money now. That's, that's what you wanted, isn't it? No. That's all you left me. What you forced on me. Oh, come on, Dan. Nobody forced you into anything. That all by yourself. What do you think? What do you think? You're the only, the only person who ever got old. Happened to lots of people. The only difference is they adjust to it. They, they find work they can handle. Good, honest work, and they take pride in it. No, not you. No, you're too proud to work for my father, but you're not too proud to steal from him. I'm sorry for you. You had an awful lot to offer. Fifty years of experience on a trail, something you could have passed on. But you just, you just quit. You go on, take the money. Try and buy yourself a friend like my father. Let me help you. What's the matter with you, boy? Can't you see that horse standing there big as life? Well, everything's normal again. It's good to have him back. Yeah. Easy, boy. Just 
sneak it out easy. I said easy, didn't I? <laughs> I'm gonna make a wrangler out of you, boy, in spite of yourself. <laughs> Go get him, Dad. Ha, <laughs> <laughs>